Okay, the AI will drop. This is outpost nothing. Oh, it's actually working. All right, ladies and gents. It's been a long time since we've done a ridiculous nothing map. This is outpost nothing. It is covered in outposts. It will be extremely laggy. It will be extremely fun for everyone who's not playing it. If you destroy an outpost, you get 10 wood, 10 food, 3 gold, and 2 stone. Um, so, actually, it looks like players start with zero food in the bank. So here we have Tricky playing as the Vietnamese, and he is currently destroying outposts. In the red, we have Wame, who's doing the same. Uh, man, this is so unbelievably laggy. In the green, we have Miguel. Oh, he went for Incas! That's, that's pretty, that's smart thinking. He got a free llama out of that, boys. Uh, Miguel's a pro player, top 25, and he's playing in this. In the yellow, we have the hostage. He is playing as the Japanese. In the teal, we have MBL, another pro player. Uh, he's at least in the top couple hundred in the world. He's playing as the Cummins. So I don't know, is, is MBL going to go 2 TC boom and destroy outposts faster than others? I, this is ridiculous. And then we have uh, Jur plays playing as the Portuguese. Can we please? Uh, smileys and salutes and, and pogs and whatever for the pros who decided to hop into this. Obviously, it's ridiculous. I think we know that. But when we have had so many tournaments over the last year, Every now and then, it's good for even pro players to step away from the tryharding, and uh, I appreciate the fact that they they want to hop in here. It's great for us, and it's great for me, and it'll be good fun. Okay. Um. Yeah. So uh, we look at the Vill highs. I guess it could show the starts. I'm wondering if Miguel's start makes sense. I guess he doesn't take out Miguel. Miguel. This is gonna make someone's PC crash, isn't it? Is he? Did he drop? Let's catch up to real time. Oh! What the? Oh, this game was not meant for this! Somebody's lagging hard! I think Miguel... A, a save has been created for restoring. Oh, Miguel dropped, but what the? Okay, it's fine. This is fine. Uh, poor Miguel. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miguel! <laughs> we broke his computer, boys. I've actually been helping the guy upgrade his PC. Uh, looks like you got to chip in a little bit more. We broke his PC. Oh, damn. That that hurts. Well, um, I'll, I'll message Miguel after the fact. Feels bad. I feel like Lithuanians would be really interesting for this. Because you start with the extra food. Okay. So, let's talk about... Let's talk about where this goes. Right, players are going to need houses, which they can't afford. Um, they're going to need... Like, MBL is doing that right now. They're going to need to get to Feudal Age. In order to get to Feudal Age, you need to build a lumber camp. And you need to uh, build a mining camp. So MBL has actually built a mill. And he's going to farm now. Which isn't bad, because he's not going to be able to chop wood. Um... But he's going to get wood by destroying the outpost. You get 10 for every outpost. Okay, so MBL is going to have a little bit more food income, which means more vills. I like it. You would expect MBL, despite this being a very new situation for him, you would expect MBL to outplay the others um, because of the pro's ability to adapt. So again, it's 10 wood and 10 food. Three, wait, is it three? Three gold and two stone. For every outpost. So 10, 10, 3, 2. That's how it goes. And MBL, a pro player, at 8 villagers now, so that is the high. Um, wow. Well, uh, the approach for, for these players is very different. Some players are battering in a circle, some players are bat battering in one direction. Um, I, I think you just gotta create space uh, that, in a way that makes sense. So, uh, you don't want one tile gaps, you want three tile gaps for farms, and then you have the houses too, and MBL's actually beasting it right now! He, he's actually doing really well with this! It's just crazy! And the farms will last him a while, and then eventually like, he might need to do use dip- Oh, it's not even- Oh, it's not dip blow! So it's a standard free-for-all, okay. But, like, what does this turn into? Uh, eventually, there's going to be no more outposts, so you have to be... 
You have to be cautious with, with how much gold you use. How much stone you use. I really want to see MVL try a 2TC boom with this. That would be hilarious to me because a town center is so freaking expensive. I feel like Kumans for second TC in Feudal Age might not be doable. But then again, is it doable to go to Castle Age? Wouldn't it be more efficient to garrison in the TC? No, it would not. Nope. Villagers have... Villagers have... Uh, Really good attack against outposts. This is no, this is oh, this is so bad. Cause then you're No, 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 that's not I don't think that's good. Which one's even attacking right now? I think that takes way too long. Oh my god, feudal rams! You guys are right! Feudal rams with Kumins! MBL is big braining us with the Civ pick. I didn't even think about the fact you can make feudal rams with Kumins. MBL says this is still better than playing against Huang. Would you look at that, guys? Huang, not only has he given us great entertainment value with YouTube videos, he has given us further YouTube content by scaring pros into community games like this. All hail the Lord Huang. Crazy. The, the, the funny thing is, there might be other high-level players who this, say the same thing about playing MBL. <laughs> Because they both can be really annoying to play against. I, I say that with, obviously, so much respect for them and love the crap out of those guys, but... A barracks? No, he's gonna make militia! He's gonna drush the outpost! What are you... Wame, 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 what? Is that worth it? I mean... You have... I feel like because villagers have villagers have bonus damage against outposts, right? So I feel like the militia is way weaker. Because I I think villagers do more than three attack, but they also auto attack, so it's something. Like you see how long it. Oh, someone said you have sappers. Oh, you start with sappers, really? I guess that would make sense to balance it. All right, well, if you have sappers, villagers are way better then. But yeah, you're right, you don't have to click. I suppose, like, militia wouldn't be bad if you could keep your town center producing at all times. Problem I have for Wame is he's not farming. So I would I would have some farms going up, but he is creating militia. Really impressed with MBL right now. We could see him click up to feudal soon. MBL is also known for his outpost rushing, uh, if an opponent will not resign, he doesn't do this too frequently anymore because he doesn't he doesn't want to be taken, he doesn't want to offend anybody, right? But in the past, uh, go back to Masters of Arena three, he was he outpost rushed Viper, so Viper would resign, and then Viper was winning the game, and Viper outpost rushed him back. It is no, it doesn't do anything except give you vision, but uh, it is pretty freaking funny. He does it on occasion. Okay, Lumber Camp now for MBL. That's obviously not to chop wood. That is so he can go Feudal Age. I feel like MBL is just gonna... He's gonna destroy everybody with the Rams. Like, his resources are gonna go so high. Okay, now he can go Feudal. Go up to him! He's gonna destroy people, man. Maybe the barracks for for Drew. and you have to say MBL did a good job with his economy, but also constantly attacking the outposts. Wow. Uh, poor Miguel. Like I, I had two pros in here, so we balance each other out a little bit. Miguel's PC couldn't handle it. Um, I, we are going to get him in a game today. He's he asked me over WhatsApp. He's like, "Get me in, get me in." So I feel a bit bad. Yeah, the militia are contributing something. It's also really costly, but maybe if Wame is able to get to um, get to feudal and get man at arms, that probably translates better as the game goes on. I was thinking maybe pick Incas, and then you could get the blacksmith upgrades. But I, again, I don't know. I've never played this or seen that. I guess the idea of going Portuguese is if you make it to Imp, you can make Vitorias, and that would be pretty OP. Because there's going to be a point where players can't collect any resources. Will MBL go for a second TC, or is he going to go for a Siege Workshop? Let's see. I think Siege Workshop is pretty obvious. 
Is he going... He's going to get capped Rams and Castellage. It's just... This is quite possibly the best Civ pick and a really good build order from MBL. He's going to go Blacksmith Market. When he's in Castellage, Kumins get capped Ram, and then he can just ram everything down. MBL has never played this before. We're just like, hey, play this. And he's king of the outpost, man. This is... <laughs> This is, there's gonna be there's gonna be a night and day difference between uh, MBL's position and everyone else. That's so like that's so strong. Okay, few lage on the way now for Wame. He is on the other side of the map. You never know. <laughs> this is stupid. MBL's probably the map maker. I mean, he's at least related to him, right? Yeah, and if you get resources from destroying outposts, then uh, go for the siege to do it. And MBL could quite possibly, he could fast imp this faster than he could fast imp in a normal game. Think about it. With the amount of resources around here, he could fast imp. I'm really excited to see how high his resources get. He could have a faster imp time than you could have if you were to go fast imp Turks or something. Whatever, whatever fast in build you would consider to be the strongest. This is going to be really satisfying to see him destroy all these outposts. Alright. He's about to be housed, but it's MBL, so you expect that. Yep. Can you imagine, if, if there was a game mode where he would destroy houses, MBL would, he would never get above 5 pop. He'd just be, he wouldn't understand. Okay, so he gets pop capped. We'll get capped ram. I'd really like to see what the other players are saying right now. <laughs> They're probably like, what? That's crazy. Yeah, watch his gold count go up. Now, I guess gold's going to be the toughest thing to come by. Well, I guess stone technically is. But you get three gold for every outpost that goes down. You get two stone. But with capped rams, he's going to fast imp this with one farm. That's what it feels like. Just just watch his res. Sick. So, I said before we did this, now obviously you're looking at a pro player, but I said before we did this that I didn't want to ban any civilizations because there's no way to know what's OP until we see it happen. Could be wrong. But I feel like Koomans are... I mean, MBL is OP, right? You got uh, a pro player against some some uh, solid mid-level players, but um, I think Koomans are pretty broken. Koomans are pretty freaking broken. Look at these outposts go down, and then look over at the other bases. Okay, we got the farming approach. Actually, could see Castle Age for hostage soon. Man-at-arms. <laughs> Supplies! Wami! Supplies! Oh, is that worth it? Supplies! He's just doing that for the memes. Supplies! He's gonna... He's gonna go for more of them, I guess. I guess if you research supplies, you might as well. How's Blue doing? Tricky? He's having a tricky time over here. How many militias does he have? Ten militia! As Vietnamese! Okay. And then Jr. JR is having a tough time. Uh, he's gone for the low eco approach. 12 villagers. Oof. Look at MBL go. Actually, he could sell his food. And then get gold for that. And then go imp. And then get seed ram. <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. Watch, he's going to sell his food. Because he already has a ton of it. I assume that's why he's built the market. He's selling stuff. He's going to go imp. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, it's somewhat believable at this point, but you know what I mean. Yeah, gold is quite hard to come by because you only get three. And then he's going to drop a castle, maybe? Can we point out that the AI is still score leading? MBL is so bad. I thought he was a pro. Can't even beat the AI in score. But yeah, the Rams do splash damage. It's going to be Siege Ram, then MBL is starting to farm a little bit. 
for more food income, which could be more gold, and now a castle, too. Wow. This is ridiculous. This is definitely one of the crazier nothing maps I've ever seen. And some random dude created it. Like, I, I not, my, my regular map creators didn't tell me about it. I just searched and saw some of the weird nothing maps out there and said, okay, let's try it. I can't wait to look at someone's perspective when MBL arrives with Siege Rams, because they can't see this right now. So I can't wait to see uh, <laughs> their reaction. Too bad we can't see in-game chat, though. MBL is just building castles for pop space at this point. Man, if four years ago someone would have told me, hey, T90, four years from now, you'll be almost three years into being full-time with Age of Empires 2 content. I would have said you're crazy. But then they would have said, T90, not only that, but one of the best bits of content that you'll be putting out for that week or that month is Outpost Nothing. I would have said, no. No one's going to watch that. No. You're joking. You're trolling. And I already know, because I know uh, what people on YouTube tend to like, or at least like the masses tend to like. I know that, that there's a lot of people excited watching this because it's so unique. I, I just know it's going to be my most popular video in months. And I'm, I'm okay with that to some extent, but also it makes me think, what am I not doing in the other videos? <laughs> you guys must not really like me. <laughs> oh my god. I can't wait to see the buildings destroyed statistic at the end. That would be pretty cool to look at. A T90 official, I can't wait until you come to explore more of my deep foresty package. What? I love you more than a blind guy loves playing darts in the Oh my god, adoring pigeon. That was <laughs> that last one though. Thank you for the four months of Twitch Prime. Okay. So purple is he is a villager here, and he's doing his best, okay? He doesn't see the rams yet. He's about to find out. Such a shame. Um, MBL's just... He has rams going every direction. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a, a weird... What would you call this? I have no clue what this looks like right now. It's like a weird growth, man. A spider web? I was thinking that, but spider webs aren't built like that. Ants? Yeah, okay. I could see it. I can see it. Aztec bird art. What? <laughs> Somebody said Aztec bird art. Uh, thank you, Sheldon Silverboy, for the for the uh, two months with Twitch Prime. Hey, uh, by the way, shout out to all the people out there who might not live in a great time zone or can't make it to the stream who dropped Twitch Primes. Uh, I know who you are, and I see it. Thank you. But uh, you guys don't always get the live shout outs. I know there's a few Aussies out there, especially. And when I'm not live, we'll stop by. That's a lot of rams for MBL. I have to ask, why isn't he making more? And, or why isn't he using these? That's a little bit confusing. Maybe maybe he wants to take his foot off the gas because he, he wants this to be uh, more of a game. Can the other players hear the rams? Good question. They should be able to if it's close. Thought you might need some help to pay off your oh, wait a second. You wait a second. Chat is telling me splash damage doesn't give resources. I guess MBL just figured that out. Oh, you know what? That makes sense. Look, he just took out like five of them. Oh. So he's got to pull. Uh, he's going for kip checks for that reason. Ah. Interesting. So you only you only get resources for the original one. Okay, well hostage sees this now. He can hear it at least. It's hard for me to tell what they can hear because they just hear whap 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 ching 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 whap whap boom boom. They just hear all these random noises. So I don't know if they can really tell. But uh, we do have quite a few players in Castle H. I imagine some others are on the way. Like purple's on the way. Blue is not on the way yet, but he's close. Making scouts. Okay. I feel like Wame could be a real threat to MBL in this game. I mean, the fact that he could imp rather early is interesting. 
but he's still only in Castle Age. I say a real threat, like MBL's even gonna come close to being attacked anytime soon, but... I guess Kip Checks are decent. Um, yeah, I mean, Kip Checks fire pretty quickly, so it's not bad. And that's probably why MBL stopped using the Rams as much. Actually, this is, if that's the case, you could argue that this is a big mistake for MBL. If you're not getting res for splash damage, you shouldn't be clearing out the rams back here. Because this is like food, wood, gold, stone. This, these are resources. I think it's a mistake for him to be clearing this out the way he is. Because he could, he could definitely run out of res. But, I mean, it's a mistake that might not matter because he's so far ahead right now. Now, I'm fairly certain he noticed because everyone came, like, there was like a dozen people who came in and brought it up at the same time. And, uh, I believe that people might be watching MBL's point of view at the same time. And they, they heard him realize it. What? He's probably, he, okay, it's one of two reactions. Oh, splash damage doesn't, I don't get res for splash damage. Or it was, uh, a more angry reaction. But uh, I'll have to think about what that might have been. Um, oh, purple could die. Purple could die. I feel like MBL's playing this more seriously than any game I've ever seen from him. See, like, what? Okay, to be honest, he has never won a community game before. He has played in quite a few, and you guys always target him. He has never won a T90 community game before, because you guys always kill him. So, this is a first for him, man. There are more people, like, type a 1 in the chat if you have won at least one community game over the years. There, like, Voracious, Voracious has won one, uh, Lohab has won one, Strode has won one, Barbecue Pot. There's a lot of people here who are better at MBL in something. Wow. Pat yourself on the back, my friends. Pat yourself on the back. Unbelievable. Alright. So Japanese longsword's not bad against the Rams. Quite bad against the elite Kipchaks. Yeah, that's that's rough. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, the problem is getting to Imp. So being next to MBL is certainly not gonna help. Oh no! <laughs> oh jerp! Oh no! Oh, dang! This is brutal. Ninety-six population for MBL. Not a lot of gold, but he has so much gold in, in military. He has so many rams. Is the kip checks? Could probably sell food and stone for decent prices if you wanted gold. I think it's time to pay respects to purple and maybe even pay respects to yellow. And jerp taps out of here. GG. Uh, pretty cutthroat game mode. I always feel bad when people die like this in a community game, whether it's getting sniped real early or... Um, like, listen, I, I actually, you know what? I said ahead of time, if you're signing up for this, you should know ahead of time it's going to be ridiculous. I did say that, so I feel less bad. But mm. Mm. All right. What are the odds that MBL loses this? Why is he getting double bit X? MBL, you can't chop trees. Why? Is there any is there any reason for him to get double bit X? I would say he has one percent chance of losing this. It is possible. Ah, uh, he wants score. Oh, he wants score lead over the AI, of course. Because what makes your ego feel better than beating humans? Beating bots. It is 2020 after all. You got to be careful about those AIs. Maybe a little bit of overconfidence. Just a little bit. I think Yellow's about to be flat out defeated here. And Biel doesn't know where the other players are, but he is on the way. Blue is making a castle. <laughs> this is this is so stupid. <laughs> This is so stupid. I love it. Okay. It's going to be red against teal. It's probably just going to be a massive 1v1 here. Red is on its way to Imp. 
He's making a lot of pikes. Byzantine halbs are very cheap. So if he gets Siege Ram himself, um, if he gets like Halberdier, Skirmisher, you never know. Ooh, MBL destroyed the market. He could have traded with that market. What about over here? He destroyed everything. So he can't trade. I, I believe MBL sees the score and he he is certain he's going to win this game. Yeah, you're right. Kip Techs are really good against Halbs. I'm just thinking, um, you know, just, just talking through possibilities. I mean, it's quite obvious that MBL should win this game. People said there's a 100% there's a chance that MBL will win. If that's the case, though, then there's more pressure on him than anyone else. That's the way I see it. All right, well, that castle's now uh, in harm's way. And yet another player in a tricky situation. I'll see if Tricky can survive. Tricky's trying to defend from Red, who's attempting to expand here. Uh, that looks... I mean, that's the less important side here. He's just going to die as well. Another one's going to bite the dust indeed. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Even in Outpost Nothing. Yellow uh, still... Where's this population? Yo! Yellow's rebooming! Let's go! He's rebooming, boys! That's amazing. I wish this was Regicide. If this was Regicide and he could somehow make a little base to try and snipe MBL's king, that'd be great. We'll try and get a reg Regicide version. Uh, as far as I know, Regicide's not possible on this unless it's built into the map. But yeah, he's not dead. MBL is about to take score lead over the AI, who obviously loses score every time the outposts go down. I guess it's just how the scenario was made. Um, okay, Red could definitely uh, use more eco. What, he's at 14 bills? I didn't realize he was at 14 bills. I feel like that's too little. MBL is going to make some scouts now, so he wants to make Hussar, I suppose. Doesn't have the gold to, to do much else. Alright, MBL takes the score lead. Uh, it, it seems to me like he's not even truly trying to focus heavily on blue right now. He's just like, I'd rather go to red, and if I kill blue in the process, so be it. Who cares? If yellow wins this game, I'll... No, I gotta, I gotta stop saying I'm gonna gift subs for, for things, man. I, no, I, I will rejoice and he will be a legend. All right, that's what will happen. Thank you, Kyle, for the Twitch Prime, and thank you, Cowshake. He says, I thought you might need to help to pay off your debt to MBL after you promised. I did say I would give MBL fifty bucks if you played, but then what about Miguel? You know, like then I gotta start paying everybody. That's, that's dangerous, man. Listen, I I have subbed to MBL for 40 plus months. Do the math. The 50's already gone to him, Kappa. <laughs> A thousand subs if MBL loses. Vox, there's no way. I would feel so uncomfortable if anyone ever did that. That's way too much. I would decline that offer. Thank you, Cal. I think MBL's gonna win. Hot take. I like that blue is gonna reboom. Yeah, let's go. It's the reboom. Let's go, boys. Let's go. He's got a siege workshop. He's got an archer range. Tricky. No, 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 no. Why? Why? What would make you think you need to resign? Is it the fact you have one population? Is that it? One pop? Really? You can- that's much better than zero. In fact, that is- that is infinitely better than zero. And Tricky resigns. Alright, Tricky's out of there. I can understand it. I'm just kidding. Um... We have the pointy boys. Now, Kip Techs are really strong. They also cost gold. So, it, it, it's possible if- if Wame gets enough that maybe he could out pop, but I think MBL with his micro should be more than fine here. <clears throat> Could
crazy. Is T90 enjoying this? I, I'm enjoying this, yeah. This is great. This is one of the best games. This is this is more entertaining than Hidden Cup 3 Finals. <laughs> Actually, it's not it's not more entertaining, but uh, slightly more competitive. Oof. I didn't realize what I was saying until I said it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can see how that could be taken. I don't mean that to be... Uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's all jokes. We're good. We're good. I just literally dissed my own tournament. Nah, MBL. Nah, I think he's going to win this game. It's a bit of a shame. It, it's a lot of a shame, actually, that it was that Miguel couldn't play. Because I was curious to see what two pros would do. But my goodness. MBL. Like I even said at the start. Props to MBL for, for uh, you know, he was a pro player who might may go try hard. Props to him for stepping back from that. And what did he do? He went full try hard with the best sieve for the map before even seeing it. <laughs> like, Kumans are really good. He somehow figured it out. Nah, guys, I didn't mean anything crazy about that, all right? I think there's a clip of MBL asking, is T90 enjoying this? Yeah, I am. I'm proud of MBL. He's come a long way, man. He's come a long way. Like, I've watched him get his king sniped. I watched him... He lost uh, the sudden death game. He lost the... Uh... It was actually on a nothing map, Relic. Nothing game. All that's on YouTube. He started from the bottom. He started from the bottom, but now he's here. I think we should all respect the path that MBL's taken to become a pro player in community games. Oh, it's a Doubt Castle! It's a Doubt Castle. Props to Hostage for for trying, but uh, he's been found. And GG. Okay. Chat, I want you to guess how many buildings MBL destroyed in this game. Take a wild guess. This is like that game... Uh, I, I don't know what your upbringing was like, but for me, there, at school, there was always this jelly bean game. You try and guess how many beans are in the jar, and the person who gets closest gets the beans, or something. Um, I would I would take beans out of it anyways when I was hungry, when no one was looking, but... Okay, some people are saying uh, 780, 6,000. Um, yeah, of course I ate the beans. Um... Buildings, whoa. 9,600 buildings lost. Now, I reckon MBL might come out around... Oh my god, it's right there. I was going to say 8,000 too. I'm an idiot. See, he almost got 6,969. It's right there. 6,972. Miguel got three. Props to him. I still feel so bad that he dropped. Largest army was 109. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> uh, you know what would be really satisfying? Is if Gray had... Uh, if Outpost counted as anything on the timeline. It'd be cool to see uh, the steady decline of Outposts. That was a sick build. All right, well, obviously, we need to have MBL play again because Kumins is cheating, right? He's got to play again. And then if he wins again, we have to nerf him further. If he wins again, we have to nerf him further. MBL's, the next 12 hours for MBL is going to be, uh, it's going to be all about outpost nothing. That was absolutely ridiculous. Um, something we may do again. I'm actually joking. I don't know if I want to do any more of that today. We'll see. But thank you for watching. And by the way, you're crazy. Have you guys thought about maybe getting your head checked? If you watch this whole thing, you're crazy. Just like me. You can be part of my crazy little uh, nothing map club. What what sieves would be good here? Saracens? Some people said Saracens. That's interesting. Man, MBL is such a dry heart. <laughs> you sound T90 like my so wife. <laughs> Does your wife judge you hard, Mighty Lancer? That's funny. <laughs> That's where you turn around and you're like, well, you married me, so who's the real crazy one? Okay, Chinese, you start with more vils. Um, and considering everyone starts with zero food, Chinese could be good. I like that. Um, and I guess Mayans you can make an argument for as well because of the additional bill. Uh, you could also say Mayans, Obsidian Arrows for the archers. Someone mentioned Saracens. I would say 
Saracens would be quality. So if you go Saracens, you benefit from a bonus against Outposts in Feudal. Um, so maybe make Saracen Archers, and that's much easier and, and helps you more in the mid-game than Mayan Obsidian Arrows would. Somebody said Huns. I think Tarkins would be pretty strong, yeah. Somehow getting to Tarkins. Um, I'm not sure how much Inca Blacksmith upgrades on Villagers would, would help, because it's mainly the fact that Villagers start with Sappers. I think that's the important thing. But you do get the Llama. Like, that's what Miguel is going to try, and he dropped, sadly. I think Siege is not the way you want to look, because if it's a closer game, you need to hold on to resources, right? So if that was a more competitive game, MBL, it could have been seen as a mistake that he used the Rams to clear out so many outposts, because you, do, you don't get resources for the ones that die to splash damage. So it's tough. Yeah, Indian Camels, actually. That's true. They have cheap vills, and they also have a bonus against buildings. So maybe Indian Camels could be good. And then uh, Portuguese, you can make an argument for for the Fatorias if you make it late. That's what Jerp was going to try, uh, but he couldn't get there. Hmm. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's hard to say. I think it depends. But things to think about if we ever do this again, if this does go to YouTube, and I'm sure it will at some point, YouTube, maybe give us your thoughts on if you want to see this again. Or if you'd like to see Arabia Hunts instead, I can definitely supply that. That's for sure.